All right, so let's talk about marriage tips for men. This week, rule number one is open the door for her every single time. Fellas, open the door for your wife. Open the car door for your wife. If it's pouring down rain, carry the umbrella over your wife, bring her to the car, and open the door for your wife. Do you do that because she's unable to open the car door for herself? Um, because you're trying to uh, impress her with your strength and ability to open a door that you think she can't open? No, of course not. You're doing that because you honor her because you treat her like a queen in your household and you open the door for her as a sign of respect and as a sign of honor that you are, uh, that she is valuable to you. Mm -hmm. So when you see rule number one, open the door for her every single time, that, that encompasses things like carrying her bags for her, uh, when you go traveling, then, you know, if you travel somewhere, carry her suitcase too if you got to make two trips. Um, you know, I, I figured out ways to <laughs> sling them around my Tommy neck. Tommy looks like a walking suitcase. I'm a professional, <laughs> trust me. I, uh, well, you know, I'm former law enforcement, so I have this thing about having my hands free. I don't like to have anything in my hands, so I've got a system where I've got a backpack, I've got a, a, a big, heavy travel bag that has a long strap that is over me. My hanging my backpack has a snap that I can snap right here, and my hanging clothes will hook on that strap. <laughs> yeah. His hands are free, but I'm telling you, he has got... So I can literally, this is no joke, I can literally pack for a week worth of travel and walk from my vehicle to the hotel with my hands free, <laughs> you know? That's true. And I get some looks, you know, but... So, you know what that means, though? If, if we travel somewhere together and I've got my bags and she has her bags, then my hands are free to carry hers. Um, so open the door for your wife, whether it's the door. And I'm talking about don't, don't hang around and, well, maybe if she don't see me, she'll get it before I do. No, no, no. You make it a challenge to open the door before she can get there. Um, it's also kind of fun because people will see you do that and, uh, mm -hmm. they'll comment sometimes, mm -hmm. but, um, so, you know, why is this a marriage tip? Because that matters over time. And a lot of these things, of course, some of the young kids today, I'm very impressed when I see a young person mm -hmm. opening a door for his girlfriend or whatever, because it seems like a, a dying art, but that mm -hmm. lets me know that his dad probably opened the door for, for his mom, That's right. That's you know? Right. Um, but a lot of times we lose our zeal over time. We do some things, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly as guilty of this as anybody, losing our zeal uh, in the course of the relationship. Don't do that. You know, uh, open the door for her, not just on occasion, every single time, and because it, and, and it matters to her. It, every, let me tell you this. Every time you do that, you will be ministering to her heart maybe just in a little bitty, just a little bit, especially if it's raining, especially if it costs you to do it, um, but open the door for your wife. Mm -hmm. So rule number one, open the door for her every single time. Any thoughts on that, dear? No. Put I just, you on the spot. I was just going to say that, and he still does. He never has stopped opening the door for me. He always opens the door for me, and and he will hold the door open for other women that may be, you know, behind me or whatever, you know. Um, but he does. Sure. He always, or or an older person, and you know, that's something that I wasn't necessarily taught. I'm a girl, so I wasn't taught to hold the door open for people. But I know how much it means to me for Tommy. Or even another man, it's not, it's kind. You can see that they've been taught that you hold the door open. But I'll actually hold the door open for older people. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, you've taught me that, I guess, because I've seen you do that. That, that You know, <clears throat> it, it, it means a lot to somebody. That It's like you're putting them... 
Put above your name you, yourself. Yeah. you know, and everything. And the Bible and says to consider others, you mm-hmm. know, before yourself. And so it's just, it's just really, it's a real, it's a kind thing to do. It's, it's a, a matter kind of kindness. Thing to do. And I'm going to tell you this, my boys learned it from their dad and I'm proud of them for that. Yeah. I, yeah, I am I'm very proud. I of learned that. it from my dad even before I was a Christian. You know, mm-hmm. my dad being a gentleman was important to my dad, and and he he drilled that into my head. But you know what? I'm gonna veer a little bit away from marriage tips and just talk about civilization tips for a moment, because you know what I've learned to do, or that I make it a point to do. And and please understand, this is not a this is not. I hope you take something from this. Beside, oh, listen to Tommy talking about how wonderful he is. No, that's not it. I want you to try this. If I'm walking into a store or whatever, and me and another person get there at the same time, I don't care if it's a 275-pound, grizzly-looking man. I open the door for him and let them go first. If I ever get to a turnstile, even if I'm in a hurry, I make a point of letting, if it's two, pe- two or three people getting there at once, I go last. I let them go first. Mm-hmm. You know what? We live in a world that is going a million miles an hour Nobody has time for any kindness. And you know how many times I've done that and somebody has actually stopped and looked back at me with a puzzled look on their face and then smiled and said, thanks, man. I'm like, hey, no no sweat. Have a mm-hmm. great day. Mm-hmm. And I've held it for older men, which, you know, sometimes they say, oh, no, you go. And, and I will because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. But yeah, sure. sometimes they appreciate me holding it for them. That's right. You know, yeah. because because they are they 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 don't get around as well, you know. And folks, how hard is this to do? Yeah, it's open just, the it's door just for people. Yeah, it's that's just right. Kindness. So just be so, kind. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and, and Mike Mike says that he was also taught to walk on the traffic side to protect the ladies. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. If you're walking down the sidewalk, a gentleman, if 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 you and your wife, or even if it's a you know an elderly woman, somebody you don't know. And you're, and you're walking down a sidewalk, the gentleman, gentlemanly thing to do mm-hmm. is for you to walk by the street and put them on the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it, again, it's just, a, it's just a matter of chivalry. And mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that you're projecting weakness onto them or any such garbage. It just means that you're honoring them and, uh, and, and, and caring for them. So anyway... That's the marriage tip for men and the civilization tip for everybody for the week. Thanks for playing.